Well, good morning. It is officially a snow day today here in Wisconsin. So I was driving last night at about quarter to five, going to B-52s to meet with a potential salesman. And on the radio, they were announcing all the school closures and a whole bunch of other closures, which was crazy to me because they're only calling for four to six inches of snow today. So this is the radar. It is coming. It's just starting right now and it's supposed to snow all day today so we'll just do rounds of plowing throughout the day and just kind of see how it goes it should be a fun and interesting day running the equipment but as of right now it's uh it's 8 30 the kids would have been in school already and it has just started morning mizzy good morning how are you good you keeping up with the coffee shop I'm trying. Hi Ryan, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Rewards card today. Uh, no. You're all set, thanks. Thank See you. Next time. Yep. Enjoy your day. Pulling back up to my house and the snow has started. Daniel's out here already shoveling. He absolutely loves the snow. He'll be out here all day today. The kids do have a snow day, as I mentioned, so he's super excited. I remember when I was a kid, the snow days, just staring out the window late at night, hoping the snow would start. And then uh, listening by the radio early in the morning, waiting to see if they call your school and say that it was canceled. Man, good memories. Anyways, I'm gonna sit around now, let the snow start to build up. And once it hits about two inches, I'll go out and do the first push. I've been editing downstairs in my office. It's been snowing, it's a little bit after noon. I don't know how much we have. Let's see. Daniel shoveled this once already. Oh no, he didn't shovel this. I don't know. We got maybe an inch and a half so far. Mike called me. We're going to go get some lunch. He invited me to B-52s. So I'm going to have lunch with Mike. And then I'm debating if I should do a quick push or not. Let it build up a little bit more. It's barely worth it at this point. But I haven't decided yet. So this is what the roads look like right now. Not bad at all. That's the thing here in Wisconsin and a lot of other states that are accustomed to having a lot of snow in the winter. We have tons of salt trucks and plow trucks and they pretty much are able to keep up with snow. As fast as it falls, they are clearing it. I'm just pulling into B-52s and Mike's here already waiting for me. He's loaded up with salt. I think he's gonna go do a push and then salt. How's it going? Oh, what are you read? Pretty good. good. Sure glad they closed the schools. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, man, I can <laughs> barely walk through this. Yeah. <laughs> I need snowshoes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for inviting me out. <laughs> How's it going, Joe? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good, good to see you. No concrete today? Sure. <laughs> let's, let's not speak negative. <laughs> right. <laughs> not busy, huh? No. You guys busy? <laughs> not today. Okay, that's it. That's it. What's that? How's everything been going? Pretty decent. Just feel like I got a lot to do and time's gonna be running short. Yeah. Yeah, I was really surprised when they started canceling everything yesterday. I was like, man. Oh yeah, it's crazy. It was, they were acting like it was gonna be the blizzard of a century. Yeah. Yeah. Well, last year and this whole winter, there hasn't even been snow piles on, yeah. the, on the edges of the parking lots, That's really. Weird. No. I mean, there's nothing out there. Look at it, there's nothing. Yeah, big piles. Yeah. When you pulled up, I was like, All right, see you later, Joe. Hey, y'all be safe out here. I'll see you in the summer driving concrete truck. Hey, you'll see. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> yep, have fun. I'm sure I'll see you around tonight. All right, thank you. Okay, it's a little bit before 3 o'clock. Daniel's been working hard out here, oh, shoveling. Yeah. Huh? Yep. How much snow did we get so far? About two inches, two to three inches maybe. I think more. No, I don't think so. 
Let's see. I know I'm disappointed they canceled school today, but Daniel's not. Snow day. Yep. I'm gonna head over and do the first push. And then I'm gonna wait until it stops, which is supposed to be about nine o'clock tonight. And then do a final cleanup, probably starting around 10 o'clock. All right, see you later. Okay. You're gonna shovel the whole driveway up? Probably. Probably? Okay. We're heading up and Eric should probably be out plowing too if I get a chance. I don't know if I'll have time. I could go now maybe. I'll go say hi to him. <laughs> I ran right into Eric. What's up? What are you doing, man? I'm just gonna turn around and hit the road. Have you been? What time did you start? Uh, 11.30? There wasn't hardly any snow then. I know, we just chilling. Yeah? yeah? Just making that easy money. Yeah, easy <laughs> well, the tires that you have on, the, on there, those are not good tires for snow. Those are con straight construction tires. Oh, yeah, really bad. Yeah, those are terrible in the snow. Those are those are really nice plows though. That's what I heard. Oh yeah, these are cool. It's a little hard to back drag with that thing sticking oh, out the yeah. front though. Yeah. Be careful with the garage doors. Yeah. Boom. No, I, I'm very careful. All right, well I gotta get over there. I'm gonna start pushing myself. Yeah. I'm gonna do one push now and then come back when it's done. Yeah, that's what he was telling me. He was just just do one quick and then just go get lunch and jump. Cause it's not supposed to end until at least nine. Yeah, that's what I was hearing. And then, all this wind, like I hit that small one, dude, I went back, it's, it's filled. It filled back in, yeah. It is pretty windy, so. All right, man, I'll see you later. Right, tomorrow? Tomorrow? I'm going to be out all night. Oh, you know tomorrow? Huh? You know work tomorrow? You're not, you're going to be out most of the night, too. You ain't going to want to get up. You can't even make it on time when you sleep all night. Oh, right in my heart, yeah. <laughs> all right, see ya. All right, man. I'll talk to you tomorrow, though. Yeah, the snow is it's packable in the snowballs actually makes a perfect snowball but it's not super super wet snow it's perfect snowball snow we are warmed up and ready to go
consistency of the snow once you plow it off the asphalt it is it's heavy skid loader is having a little bit of trouble pushing it once it gets to be too much like it is right here you like this weather Not really. <laughs> now I'm plowing snow. How you been? I haven't talked to you for a good while. Yeah, well, we we'll see different different stories now. Yeah? What you been doing? Uh, you, you, you think you're gonna give me a chance to get back? For concrete? Yeah. Do you want to meet after work for lunch and we can talk about it? Okay, we can do that. All right, can well. I got my cousin too. He, he, he's actually looking for work. He can uh, do 
you have to clean up and uh, you know the, the the labor work. All right. Well, we'll talk. We'll talk about that. But um, yeah, that's just get. Bumpy, you know, that's the one. What's his name? Fonzie. Oh, oh, Fon Fonzie. Yeah, of course I know Fonzie. Yeah, he's me right now. That's why I'm coming. So <laughs> see if we can do something. All right. Well, call me tomorrow when you're getting off work, and then I'll meet you somewhere for lunch, and we'll talk talk about it. this time these driveways are really slippery I'm sliding all over the place I'm gonna have to be careful because some of these are pretty steep and right behind me is an embankment or a ditch slide down in that thing real easy at the condos now I'm gonna do a big loop all the way around and get all the individual houses that I do so those don't take long maybe another hour or so and I'll be out of here until later Bugs just called me he's gonna come in at 4 o'clock a.m. I kind of change the plans a little bit so I'm gonna let it's windy so I'm gonna let it drift all night long and then we're gonna hit it early in the morning and get a final cleanup done on it uh, I need to go get fuel right now go park this thing and then I'm gonna go get some dinner and then just wait Decided I'm gonna start up the small skits here, let it warm up, and then go do all the city sidewalks. Just one time, the city plows are pushing all the snow over the city sidewalks, and they're not marked, so it's pretty difficult to know where they are. And I know if I have bugs jump in there, he's gonna get really mad. He gets frustrated pretty easily, and I don't need him like driving a thing into the ditch when he's mad and you know wasting time like that. So I'm gonna hit it now. That way, it'll kind of define the edges. That way when he comes later, you know, it'll be real easy for him. Plus I have plenty of time. It's not a big deal. It's only like uh, 6.42 right now. And it only takes like 45 minutes at the most to run the sidewalks. I'm going to start this thing up, let it warm up for a while, go grab my dinner, come back, 
run the sidewalks and then try to get like a couple hours of sleep tonight before I come back for round number two. Uh, gonna use a potential meeting with China's top diplomat this week to de-escalate tensions. You know what that means? They're gonna... Yep, 52s again, believe it or not. Hi, Lynette. Good to see you again. Oh, hi, Ryan. Hello. Um, I think I'll just try something different today. And they canceled school yesterday. I know. I was like, I was in shock. I was driving. It was like quarter to five, and they were like, everything's closed. I just I don't like, understand what? this generation at all. <laughs> I'm with but. you. I don't know. It seems like we're getting softer and softer and softer yeah. every year as time goes by. Okay. I'm back from dinner, the skid steer's all warmed up. So this is what we got on the radar, hopefully you can see that. Uh, we are right about here. So we have that dark heavy band of snow that's pretty much on us right now. It's snowing pretty hard right now. And then after that, it looks like it's gonna start clearing up or lightening up and then clear up a little bit later tonight, so. This is an S130 and it is a beast for sidewalk plowing. You can't stop the thing. That's it for round one. The snow is really coming down heavy now. It's piling up fast. If it would have snowed like this all day, we would have had a foot of snow or more. I'm gonna go home, warm up my toes because they are very cold. And then I'll see you guys a little later. All right, good morning. It's barely morning. It is just like five after 12. And we got a pretty good amount of snow. So this was shoveled until that heavy band came through uh, when I went to dinner at B-52s we picked up another three inches of snow in just a short amount of time so that's about what we're gonna have to plow this morning three to four inches of snow listening to a little coast to coast AM with George Norrie on the way to go plow this is one of the most entertaining radio shows on the face of the planet. The stuff they talk about will blow your mind. <laughs> it's some of the craziest stuff I've ever heard. It's so crazy, it entertains you. Your mind doesn't even know what to think of the things they talk about. From alien abductions to civilizations that live in the crust of the earth. It's very interesting. <laughs> said that two hunters said they had seen a or triangular shaped object that was dull and had solid white lights at the corners. The UFO hovered for a few minutes and they shot straight up. This witness also said that objects are seen on many nights. Mike's here. Mike's working on his stuff already. How's it going? Good, how are you? Got a helper? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Should be out there shoveling, man. <laughs> Look at those steps right there. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I think it's finally done. I think so. That's why I'm starting to just finish this one up and I was gonna put some salt down. Yeah, yeah, I think it's done. Yeah. I just looked at the radar and it's clear, so okay. I'm gonna start plowing. Well, yeah, then I'll get I'll start getting everything cleaned up. I just nice. wake up early in the morning and make sure the plow didn't. Oh, you know the plow's coming through. I know. <laughs> yeah, he's going to blow it all on the city sidewalks again. Yeah. The old GMC Sierra 3500. Still getting after it. It's the 8.1 liter with the 5 speed Allison. That's the truck I sold to Mike. It's the Hineker Scoop Plow. And it's a Hineker V Box 2 yard. 
All right, we can't watch Mike too long. I got my own stuff to do. I think that we're activating our angers that we have inside of ourselves by outside forces. It's about 19 degrees right now. It's, it's cooling off pretty quick. I'm gonna run this one down the sidewalks first. I'm not going to video a ton because, you know, I already videoed earlier during the first round. So I'll just get a little something here and there. And keep it all the way flat because okay, if you hit something you're gonna be like pow thank you these aren't gonna last 10 minutes I'm, fresh. I'm hungry they're fresh i went yesterday so. yeah all right, I'll, 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 i pretty much got everything yeah, done ahead of me, man. well i've been out since 12. Yeah. so we had more at home you did oh we had eight inches at home at least really oh yeah we got dumped is jade in the truck good yeah, I just go down. What's her birthday? She's one now. Yes, the 16th of February. Did you get her something? You'll see. I just ordered a nice jacket. Got a collar <laughs> on it. All camera. right. This nice green tree. It's nice. nice. Yeah, she looks good in it. Stave for the back of my trunk. What's got, a stave? It's a, uh, it, it's what they make silos out of. It's uh, 18 inches wide, 2 inches thick, and about 2 feet long, and it's concrete with reinforcement in it, and they yeah. clip together for the silo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I put some in the back of my truck for weight. For weight? Uh, I slipped and I went down. I mean, my feet went back. Oh, and man. I landed square on my shoulder. Is that how you tore their jacket? No, no, no. Oh, I wasn't okay. even wearing this yesterday. Oh, okay. I went down hard. I didn't hit my head or nothing, but man, it, it's just sprained. I know it is. Yeah. I mean, I can do everything. It's, it's just. That's not the bad one, is no, it? It's oh, not. That's good. The first, that's the first thing I thought. <laughs> oh. Hey, where's the light for the out? Where's the switch for the out? It's it's one of these. Okay. It's okay. this one right here. Thank you. Yeah. There's my little salting buddy. Hi, Jade. My little salting buddy. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
Go sit in the other seat. Go, go over there. Go over there. How's it going? Oh, look at your brand new coat. Looking good. Camouflage. You remember this, right? Salting. You gotta sit nice though. You gotta sit real nice. Good girl, good girl. And come on. All right, we got salt. Let's go. We're just salting again. You should be used to this by now. You should be used to salting. We went last time, remember? I'm gonna put a bunch of salt on. Probably about double what I usually do. Because there is a lot of residual snow and ice on the pavement. It just won't it won't scrape clean. You couldn't get it all the way down. It's not a big deal, you just gotta put extra salt. You can hear how frozen it is, how icy. But I had bugs get two and a half scoops of salt, which is way more than enough. Those bugs across the street. There's your dad, right over there. It's hard to see with your big head blocking the mirror, you know. Did you know that? I can't see a thing back there. It's actually a nice morning and what I mean by that is the wind died down. The snow is not blowing around. So once it's clean, it stays clean. There's nothing more frustrating than plowing everything, coming back to salt and realize that it really needs to be plowed again because it's all drifted over. Sometimes it seems like it's never ending, but this morning is just nice and still. You know, this dog has like the power to bite your thumb off if it wanted to, but it just licks your hand. Jay's a sweet dog. Some pit bulls are just nasty, but not this one. Not this one. All right, Jade. I'm gonna let Bugs take my pickup truck back to the yard where his truck is. And then I just need to finish salting all these driveways. Everything else is 100%. All I need to do is salt the driveways and I'm going home. So I got about one more, not even an hour, 45 minutes. Bugs is, Bugs is plowing sidewalks that don't even belong to us. I don't know what he's doing over there. What is your dad doing? He's on the wrong side of the street. Those guys usually shovel that, they'll be happy. My toes are absolutely frozen. Frozen. My shoes were wet for the second round here. And I was like, ah, who cares? I'll just throw them on. And my skid loader, it has block off plates down by the foot pedals that you can put in so the air doesn't come up in there. But they're not on there right now. So all that cold air just comes right by your feet. And my toes are frozen solid right now. <laughs> and they're not warming up because my shoes are still soaked. I still got to salt the driveway. So just take that truck back to the ark. The college kids can shovel because your, sho your shoulder is messed up, so I'm not going to have you do that. All right, oh. thanks, Bugs. Thank you, Ryan. Yep, Thank see ya. Bugs usually helps shovel at the condos, but his shoulder's messed up, so I'm going to let the college kids do everything over there.
this is the last driveway this is it and we are done okay we're done nice and early it's only 517 so we did pretty good I think it's empty but I'm not positive It's empty. Beautiful. All right, now we're done. All right, I'm pulling into the yard. I'm gonna try to hook the plow up on this truck. It's one side. Got it. and we're ready to go. Okie dokie. Let's get out of here. We'll stop at Quick Trip here. Grab just a small coffee because I'm getting ready to go to bed and a cold drink. Morning, soda man. Good morning, how are you? Good. Too early for all these problems, Jessica. <laughs> She's having problems with the coffee machines back there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, you have a great morning. Thank yeah, you very much. You too. See you next time. Thanks. Yep. Second up is next. Thanks for waiting. Just gotta clean up my driveway. And then I'm going in. about because it's already dead they have some grass that's salt tolerant some grass seed that I've seen Scott's made it I don't know if they're still making it but I'm gonna give that stuff a try because I have to reseed along all the edges at those condos where I salt because obviously the salt kills all the edges along the driveways and the walks every spring that I plow it it's got to be done and I never knew they made salt tolerant grass seed. Then one, I don't know where I was shopping, but I saw it. I was like, oh man. So I don't know how much better it'll be, but it's worth a try, that's for sure. And I'm gonna try that stuff over here too. All right, that's pretty sloppy, but I really don't care. The more bang around I do out here, the more likely it is that my kids are gonna wake up before they are supposed to and my wife will be not happy with me so that's good enough That's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.